go over the setup for the Retrotech DM32 digital manometer for a blower door test. This manometer reads pressure on the A channel and flow on the B channel. We'll start with hose setup. We want to hook the red hose up to the red reference port on the A channel for our pressure reading. Run that out through the panel and get the end of it as far away from the fan as you can on the outside. For the B channel, we want to hook the yellow hose up to the yellow reference port. That'll run down and tie into the yellow port on the fan. Retrotech color codes are hoses and setups, so that does make it fairly simple in that respect. Then we'll turn the gauge on. There's a home button, just like your phone would have. Push that on, the gauge will launch. We want to make sure that our gauge is set up correctly to read pressure on the A channel and CFM on the B channel. Right now it's not set up for that. So we go into settings and then we hit results to be displayed. And we've got pressure on the A channel, but we need to change the B channel. The flow needs to be flow at CFM. Once we got that, give it a thumbs up and then we can get back out of that. And then the next thing we'll do is get a baseline set for our manometer. You can see now it's CFM on the B channel, pressure on the A channel, everything's good to go. From there, we'll go back into settings, click baseline, select capture baseline. This needs to run for about 20 seconds to get a really good uh, accurate reading. When that has ran for 20 seconds, hit end capture and go back. The manometer is now calibrated for the pressure differences between inside and outside. You can see that right there. From there, we'll get our fan set up. We've got the A-ring selected on the manometer, so we need to make sure the A-ring is on the fan. We do that pretty simply there. Now we know that the fan matches our manometer. We're ready to go. So now we can just start slowly ramping the fan up to, we want to be at negative 50 Pascal. So we do that by simply turning the fan control dial and slowly getting our number up. We want this to be calculating at negative 50. So we're going to go into the settings as well and set the actual pressure at negative 50 so that if we're at negative 48, it's still doing the calculations at negative 50. So once you get close to negative 50, you can go into settings or pressure, I'm sorry, and set the pressure to 50. And now it'll be running those calculations. Then turn that anti symbol off so it's reading pressure and then on the flow side it's CFM at 50. We are having trouble getting our uh, CFM reading so we need to restrict this fan down. We'll do that by reconfiguring it with a different ring combination. When we change the fan we need to change the manometer and vice versa. So we click the fan button, go in and choose the fan that looks like the one that we have currently set up. Select that and then we're ready to run our blower door again. Always ramp these up slowly uh, in case there's loose ceiling tile or anything like that. You don't want to just dump it to right up to 50. You could damage part of the home. So now we're getting a CFM at 50 reading. So we know that the ring configuration is correct for the size of the home. And we'll just slowly get that up to 50 close enough so we've got our reading and that is the setup for that if you want to use cruise control connect this jack into the top connect it into the fan and then you need to go back in and set the pressure set it at 25 at first if you set that thing at 50 this fan will take right off to 50 we don't want to do that turn that anti symbol off again so once it gets you know to 25 then you can hand toggle it up to 50 and then the manometer will control the fan speed to keep it at 50 once there's uh, variations happening outside that's changing it or whatever. But you can also toggle it down at this point once you've got your number. Just it's pretty uh, self-explanatory in that regard. But that is the DM32 setup for a blower door test.